Today I want to talk about a tool that, although it's super handy, I haven't had to use it a lot. Uh, most of the time when I do have to use it, it's for someone that's doing a lot of machining. Now, if you have a machine part and you want to mimic a cutting tool that is going to go through the part, let's say you have a um, limitation by the type of machine that's being used, maybe it's a three-axis mill, and you don't have the ability to follow along a profile on a surface, but you uh, you know you have the ability to drop that profile down as it's uh, machining out a let's say a, 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 in this case it's going to be a slot. So here's the tool that I may use. Now it's not a true ball end, right? If I had a true ball end, this would be a different shape, but maybe there's a need for a flat. Okay, and this is something that actually that I just ran into for one of my clients. He does a lot of um, machine parts for aerospace, and um, he's got a three-axis mill, several three-axis mills, and um, they needed a flat trough cut through the part. So in this case, this tool that I'm going to show you, it's under if you go under surface, the surfacing toolbar, under more, you're going to see what's called swept volume. Now, what the swept volume allows you to do is Pick the, sh the tool that you want to use. So if there's a specific shape profile that you need to use and you have the solid for that, a lot of times you'll have a, a solid body for the actual tool that's going to be used. Maybe the NC guy has that. You can go get that from that person. Pick, once you pick your tool, what ends up happening, you'll see tool body. You have down here Boolean operation. And for the Boolean operation, you only have two options, subtract and intersect. In this case, I'm going to do a subtraction. Now, it automatically picks this for you. If you don't have another body in here, you won't be able to perform the sweat volume, so you have to have another body. Here you have what's called tool path. So this is the actual path of the cutter as it's going to go down and through the part. You'll see what it does is it takes that and it drags it along that tool path. I'm going to select OK. Once I create that, you'll notice that I get, um, it looks a little odd in here. And the reason why, again, that looks a little odd is as the tool comes in, imagine this is staying vertical as it travels down and along. Okay, so it's staying vertical to the part as it comes down and it's going down that slope. It's staying vertical. It's not following along that path. So in this case, if this, if this were a ball cutter, obviously I wouldn't have that shape down there. In this case, I needed this flat in here again because I needed something to rest in that space. So they needed to use this, this type of a ball cutter or this type of a um, end mill with a, a filleted around edges. So as you, as you can see, as it gets to this point, when it starts to drop down that path, this is going to look like more truly representative of the shape of that final machine part. And why is that important? Well, a lot of times people will get a part that's supposed to be a machine part, and the way they end up designing it isn't truly representative of the final machine part. Or they don't take in consideration that uh, the machine house that's going to make the part has only a three axis mill. If this was a five axis mill, you, you can get away with uh, doing a lot more, but in this case, you're sort of limited. So in this instance, this is what this pocket, this machine pocket would actually look like. So um, the tool, again, was the swept volume. So you may have a library of uh, tool shapes that your machine shop uses, and you want to uh, more closely mimic what they actually can do. And, and then you may be able to actually do this as well for more parts, because um, maybe this is a non-critical area that you can get away with deviating a little bit to make the part truly more representative of what it's going to look like when it comes off of the mill. Thank you.